Tennessee, uh, you know, great team. It, you know, the, traditionally uh, always a very good team. And it's going to start from the net out. Um, you know, the goaltending, you know, Jack feels he's playing as well as he's he's played since he's been there. And that's kind of scary just to hear that. Um, but, you know, they've got talented players, and they've always been one of the top teams. So it's uh, – it's a fun weekend. I mean, you know, we look forward to it. I look forward to it, and I'm sure the players do. It's uh, it's going to be good hockey. I don't, you know, you're not going to see you're going to see two teams going at it and playing hard, physical, and hopefully up and down. Hopefully, very similar to you know when we played Boston College. That's their style. That's our style. And a lot of people kind of had BU in the lower parts of the rankings, even at the beginning of the season when they had them fourth or fifth. But now, does this surprise you at all that they're where they are? No, I can tell you I didn't. I would never put them that, in that position. They're just too good of a program. And they get, uh, you know, I just, we just know the players that they have on the team. They're, they're recruiting. They had goaltending. Is, you know, in fairness to them, they lost a lot. I mean, they had a couple of key guys uh, leave. So that, that says a lot for the job that they've done as a coaching staff and as a team. You know, some of the younger players have stepped in, so they've done a terrific job. You know, for that matter, I thought Toots team played pretty well for a guy that had so many young guys, and you know, he lost a couple of key players. And it's not easy when you lose uh, good players, and just when they become really good and they move on, it, 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 it's, a, it's a big hit. Who do you lose? <coughs> Uh, three, I think, at least two. I think Kirk, uh, Dino, who's the third one? Cohen or Cohen? Yeah, three. But they, you know, I've seen them on film. They're good. You know, I watched the main game and uh, the Merrimack game. It's they haven't missed a beat. You have to have a certain level of trust to be able to get ahead. Yeah. And be, I mean, if, yeah, if I you don't want to just pass it right, two right. feet away, right? Yeah. I mean that that comes in, you know, you know, play like communication and chemistry and all that stuff and, and being in the right position. You know, if you if you're not in the right position and then not communicating that's not gonna be that's not gonna be possible. So you kind of guys kinda of use speed as one of your advantages, especially at the wit where it's bigger than a lot of teams normally play. Is that something that you guys really kind of tend to drive home? I think so. I think um, I think we've always been a pretty fast team and that and that's always been a strength that uh, we've tried to use, especially here on the big ice sheet, and and so uh, you know it, it's going to be no different this week. We're going to try to be moving and pushing the pace and try to get BU on the run. Well, record-wise, both teams are moving along at a pretty good pace. Uh, somebody's unbeaten streak probably go well. I guess if you two yes. two more ties, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I guess to put it in more of a question. You, you came into the season wanting to get a better start. Obviously, you've gotten a better start. Um, so where where do you build from here? And well, and I think uh, how do you or how do you just keep it going? Yeah, I, th I think that's that's the big question is how do we keep it going? And and I think you know not not getting too high, not getting too. Last year we didn't have the start we wanted, but you know we weren't too low on ourselves. We still had confidence and we worked through it. And I think right now we're pretty happy with where we're at like rankings wise and all that but mm -hmm. but we're not we're not overly excited or too happy we know there's a lot of season left so we've just been working hard throughout the week to get ready for each weekend and I guess that's probably one advantage of probably one reason why BU and UNH can be consistent year after year is that well, you were supposed to be a good. Team. You, you know what I mean, though. Yeah. So, so you don't probably fall prey to that, uh, you know, overexcited, and then naturally getting all bummed out if you happen to lose a game, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, we we have confidence. You, you know, when we're down or we lost a few, we still have confidence in ourselves, and and uh, we know that we have to keep working hard. And you know, it's it's a long season, so there's going to be ups and downs throughout the season. So it's just keeping a balance, basically. Yeah. And and does that become easier as you get, say, like in your case, a senior or you're with a mature team that has had success? I think so, yeah. Just through experiences, you realize that, you know, it, it's, it's going to be good at times and it's going to be 
bad at sometimes, and you just you got to keep working. And unfortunately, we've worked hard, and and good things have happened. So that's that's one thing that we can control is our is how we work, and um, mm -hmm. we're gonna continue to do that. I know, and uh, hopefully, good things will continue to happen. For yeah, us. Give me a little background. Um, it sounds like you got into the lineup last year due to somebody else's injury. Oh uh, yeah, Nick Curry just went down with that ankle injury that he had, so I finally got the opportunity to play, which is plus definitely. So did you figure that was just going to be until this? What was his name, Nick? Nick Kratis. Kratis. Mm -hmm. And uh, did you figure that would be a couple of games and then go back to riding the pine? Or? Uh, you know, I didn't really know. I just figured I'd go out there, give him the best shot, and see how things go and see if I can put myself in a position where I can keep playing. Or, you know, when Nick came back, he'd obviously be back in the lineup. So just see where it went from there. <coughs> but uh, d Coach Humili was saying that basically they haven't – Taking you out since? No, they yeah, haven't. No, I haven't been out of since. So that's, that's been good. Coach was also saying that you've been one of the constants on the team, and how important is that to come back from the injury that you suffered at the end of last year and to be able to continue on where you left off? Oh, it's just been real great just to come back from that knee injury that I had and just be able to pick up where I, right where I left off, you know, contributing the way I can, doing what I can just for the team so we can win games, which really helps out. Did you have to have surgery over the off season? Uh, no, no surgery. It just took a little bit longer to heal than I anticipated. What was the uh, extent of the injury? Uh, well, just a broken kneecap. It just was, a broken knee. Yeah, no, no big deal. Yeah. Hey, you hit by a taco, was it? Oh uh, yeah, I blocked a shot against Vermont towards the end of the season. Is that as painful as it sounds, or? Is it was pretty painful. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'd, I'd say so. What do you see in Will Brett, especially out there with the league and stuff? He's you know, too much offense defense. Does that put some more pressure on you? Or you primarily think of defense. I, I mean, obviously a lot of defense. Defense on us supposed to think defense, right. but even more so in that situation. <coughs> um, I don't think defense more so. You know, defense has always been a part of my game. And I focus on like just defensive zone, moving the puck out, doing what I can in the defensive zone. But Blake and I, we just play well off each other together. We know where. We're, we're going to be, what each other's going to do. So it doesn't put added pressure on me to play more defense because I know he's still going to be in the right spot no matter what. We play well together and play off each other well where it's not one person's thinking more of one thing and, than the other. We're both on the same page doing the same things. How do you how do you define your role? What do you, what do you consider yourself, though, I mean, as far as a defenseman goes? What do you I, just a part of defenseman, making that first breakout pass, helping outside of the zone, and just help out in the offensive zone as I can, you know, maybe not score a goal here and there, but possibly make that good pass in the back door or set somebody up or just keep the puck in. Not so much goal scoring thing? I mean, you're not looking to Not so much, no. No. Still looking for that first goal, so. Give us a little bit about how you, um, you probably heard it last year, but how you ended up here, you know, coming, growing up in Denver and stuff. I mean, there are obviously a lot of schools out there. Yeah, and, definitely. And, uh, uh, well, I went to prep school in Minnesota, so, you know, when you go to prep school in Minnesota, lots of options open for me so I was talking to a few schools at WCHA like Denver and such and then UNH came along and talked to them a fair amount and came out and visited in the summer one year and just kept talking to coaches and really liked the way everything felt out here and how they portrayed themselves and carried themselves around like just talking to me when I got here and around the campus and talked to a few people that had visited here and seen other things and got their perspective and it just felt like the right place for me at the time with the coaches and how they portrayed how things would go for me and just the type of play that they played here just felt like it was the right spot for me.